Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I converted my IKEA tertial lamp articulated arm into a support for my cell phone. So I am able to capture videos from my desk and as well as some sort of universal attachment here also for a microphone shock mount. So I can have my microphone attached to it while I am at my desk. So. Um, before I show you how this works and the kind of articulation, let me just quickly show you the modification that I made here to the head of this lamp. And I'm going to put the picture on screen now showing um, roughly how this lamp looks like when it's unmodified. And you can see that I have basically made a sort of square from this, this piece here that was a curve before. It was a curve because it holds on to the, the shade of the lamp. So you can see that now I have, you can see the hole and my finger through. It's perfectly straight. I bent this with pliers like, like this and uh, making sure that while bending, I have it perfectly straight so that a screw or a bolt can go through and come out the other side like this. So this then gives me a hinge on which my phone holder can rotate. Now this is a phone holder that I also had to modify, but it comes from, uh, this, I don't know if you know those selfie sticks like this, that come like this. Now they have many attachments, but this was the cheapest I could find. And it has an attachment two on the selfie stick and three here and basically it goes in and then the screw basically holds from both sides and presses squeezes the three onto the two and gives a tight grip now i had to if you look closely you will see that it's filled with hot glue because i noticed that while it was inside here without the hot glue whenever i screwed tight to press onto the phone holder here it squeezed the plastic together and i couldn't get a good grip so you can fill it up with uh, paper or whatever this this by filling it up with hot glue i put a piece of tape on the other side and filled it up with very hot glue and then cleaned off doing it on the other side too till i had that um, middle part filled up with hot glue and it hot glue is an incredibly strong and flexible material so now i can have a good grip when i screw on this now uh, I use a screw, which is a metric screw. You're just going to have to find something locally that you can uh, find. If you're in the US, then obviously it's not metric. So you have to find something that goes into this hole, which if you don't find, then you can obviously drill uh, the hole a little bit bigger. So one more thing I wanted to have the a complete articulation of this section is to have a 360 degree continuous tone. Now, if you have an IKEA tertial lamp, let me show you up here. If I can, okay, it's focused now. This piece of metal here has, it's, it's basically complete and straight down there. And it forms a kind of stop for this rotating um, piece here of metal to stop on one side. And obviously since uh, this is made because the lamp's head has a wire and you can't continuously turn it round and round and round. For me, I don't have this problem. So I filed down that piece, this piece of metal here to have a little bit of a curve. So you see this curve just down here at the base? It's, it's needed to have the base still there because if not, when this arrives at the center and there is no base to support it, I can basically pull this out and that's not good. So you want that piece of metal down there at the base of this one I'm pointing to now to remain so you can pull out. But now there is enough passage for this to continue to turn. Okay, maybe now we will have a good angle to see. Okay, it arrives to a stop point, but now it can pass and continue to go around. So this way I have an incredible uh, amount of 
turning uh, liberty and articulation with this arm. So, obviously, if you were doing this for a microphone, this is my DIY shock mount with my Konami rock band mic. I'm still looking for a little piece here that I would attach to this that will go in here the way this goes in and I can screw and hold the mic in place just like this. But before what I did was when this was a curve, I simply screwed it here <laughs> and you can see the two screw holes. But now it's not a curve anymore. It's a block shape because of uh, this, which I need more than the microphone. But I'm going to find a solution to the microphone too. Maybe just a small block that stays here with a hole I can drill through and screw so that the mic can then rotate on this axis. So let's put this back. Okay, so I use a wing nut so that I can have quick access to turn in, to tighten or to loosen this phone grip. And this is how it looks like. So you can see the articulation is 100%, 360 degrees torn. I can pivot like this too, let's say 180 degrees. But when I get here to the end, I can still go 180 degrees here as well. And for filming on the desk, it gives you incredible liberty. Now, let me put the camera on this and uh, show you a little bit how, I'm, how I can film and the freedom it gives me. So just to show you how it looks like, this is how my setup looks like. And that is my desk on which I make reviews or do small repairs. Okay, so now the phone goes into the phone holder. And there we are. So let's, let me just make a sample video. So here I'm, am I on, I am at my desk. You can see that I can go left or right. This is the articulation of the um, Ikea tertial lamp um, itself. I can go up and down. This is just the lamp articulation. And now I can rotate. can see how much I can rotate, even 360 degrees. I can go up. And now I can smoothly go somewhere. I can go down much, much closer in a smoother way than I could if I had just A fixed tripod. And you can see how close I am to this. Or I could stay very far away from my desk. Up above it. Fully, like this. And I could repair stuff, show you stuff. When I want to come much closer to show you something much closer, I come down, put this on focus. And there you go, show you something. Go back, turn around. If you're into doing stuff from directly overhead, you can see now um, directly overhead. And if you're painting, drawing, whatever you're doing here, direct overhead uh, camera point of view is, is comes in handy. And all this with just an IKEA lamp sitting on my base, a, hood, um, a block of a, a pavement block that I showed in an earlier video how to make. And this gives me an incredible amount of freedom. I can move the block with me. And come closer to stuff.
So this is how for just the price of an IKEA tertial lamp and a selfie stick, which I've ended up using for something else. I can, I have many of these heads, uh, phone holders, so the selfie stick didn't go to waste. And I can use it for other things too. But now I have a very, very powerful um, phone holding tool, also a small camera holding tool, I believe. Um, for the lamp itself, you can see that I removed, and please don't mind the mess, that's my daughter's stuff. <laughs> and uh, I removed one of the strings on its side because when I have all four strings, uh, springs, the the force is very much uh, more pronounced and I can't keep the phone in a specific area because the phone is very light. But if you have a camera like a DSLR or something, something not that heavy, you put all four springs and you could basically do this too. Go down, do your stuff in a very, very nice and controlled manner. So um, if you have any questions, just let me know. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you if you're trying to uh, find some ideas to re replicate what I just did now. Okay, thanks. Have a nice day or night.